In the spotlight this morning, we are chatting with an Emmy and Peabody award-winning comedian who has some Rhode Island roots. He traded Wall Street for stand-up. You know the success story. And he now has made his way to The Late Show with Stephen Colbert as the warm-up comic there. This morning, we are joined by comedian Paul Mercurio, who told me I looked handsome before the segment. Absolutely. Nice Very nice. <laughs> Thank that you. That is a great uh, jacket. I made rent. it. It's a rental, <laughs> but it's nice. I actually made it this morning. Hey, but wait that, a minute. Where's my coffee milk? Oh, yeah. I, I think just Will got, just ran out to get it. And some clam cakes, please. Morning clam cakes. Because <laughs> coffee milk and clam cakes go so well. Okay, well, there's no clam in a clam cake. We all know that. We're from Rhode Island. <laughs> Great to have you here. Yeah. Um, you've been on the road show before. Just a tremendous Rhode Island success story. It all started right here in the Ocean State for you, Yeah, didn't it? yeah. I grew up in Providence over on Charles Street, and my wife is from here. She grew up on the east side, and uh, uh, we met in high school. I was a senior, and she was running away from me. And uh, <laughs> No, and we dated like 15 years before we got married. And anybody friends out that still live here know uh, this is true and and uh, and then 15 years long time and then she proposed finally um, I can't tell you her exact words because I get really emotional yeah. but they ended with or get off the pot <laughs> so we've uh, I'm familiar with that expression. please no pictures please yes um, and so yeah it's it's fun to be back and you know catch up with everybody it know? is and you've had such uh, a, an amazing run you know writing jokes for Jay Leno you know now the warm-up comic for the late show with Stephen Colbert just for those very quickly who yeah. aren't really familiar with what a warm-up comedian does you really get the audience essentially ready for the big taping don't you I do I come out and then I take all my clothes off and uh, <laughs> people get sick now yeah you come out you you want to get people, uh, you got to get three things have to happen. You, they got to understand that they shouldn't just sit and watch the show passively, get them super excited, and get them laughing all in about 15, 20 minutes. And Steve and I go back to working on The Daily Show together. And, and it's funny, you know, you mentioned I have an Emmy Award, and my mom, who's now 90, didn't, and I was a lawyer before I did this and quit to be a comedian. She didn't understand, and nor should she, you know. And then I came home with the Emmy, and she was like, oh. And she grew up in the Depression, right. so she doesn't buy anything. So I have to go visit her, which means I'm going to have to yell for the weekend because she won't wear her hearing aid. It whistles all the time. Oh, yeah. And she, yeah. It's like talking to a tea kettle in a house dress. <laughs> and, and she won't wear it to annoy me. And it's, it's just like a little round gray thing. So we were standing on my brother-in-law's uh, driveway down in Narragansett. And we're going in to have dinner. I go, you've got to put your hearing aid in or you can't yell. Yeah. It's exhausting. And she goes, oh, I'll put it in. She just had it in her hands just to annoy me. And then as she's talking to me, she dropped it on the driveway. And she bent over to pick up the uh, hearing aid and picked up a stone and stuck it in her ear. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, these are the stories, this is the reality, and this is why you've got to love family. Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. I mean, you know, she's 90, still running her furniture store. It's crazy. And like, this weekend at the Comedy Connection, we yeah. can catch you live, can't yep. we? Yeah, we got a show tonight and two tomorrow night, and uh, they're always fun. Uh, and uh, it's right there at ricomedyconnection.com. They can get tickets. And um, yeah, it's just, it's great to be back. And I got a one man show I'm doing in New York. Absolutely, right and we can learn more about that on your website, of course. Yeah, uh, go to telecharge.com. It's called Paul Mercurio's Permission to Speak. Well, and you're going to come down. Of course. I'm going to be in the show. You're going to hang out. You're going to sleep at the apartment. I can't. Well, I usually sleep at Port Authority. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> That's right. I tripped over you twice. And maybe throw up on Good me. Good to see you, buddy. This is the man, Paul Mercurio. You guys, you can catch him this weekend. Rhode Island is so proud of this guy and all that he's accomplished. If you'd like info and tickets to Paul's shows this weekend, we'll have a link to his website at ours, roadshow.com.